right back inside the Rowdy Studios with Hall of Fame voter Dustin Long talking about the, I guess it's the 2012 class, the NASCAR Hall of Fame, right? That's what yeah. we're calling it. G next year's class. Yeah, but it's <laughs> the gonna be, they're going to be inducted in January. Sure. We're shifting the schedule around. Which is cool. Yeah. Uh, now let's talk about the other slam dunk, Kale Yarbrough. Didn't get in last year. A lot of us felt he should have. Back-to-back-to-back uh, to back to back championships in the 70s. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, you know, he wins championships in 76, 77, 78. And this was back when, you know, to win the championship, you had to do it over the entire season. It wasn't There wasn't the chase. So, you know, if you had a, a bad first 26 and maybe you were seventh in points, but then with the reset, you got, a, you, you got your points closed up and you got an extra chance to get in there. You know, he did it old school way and I think that uh, you know that's why he was on my ballot last year and he sh I felt like he should have been in the second class and it, you know he was a slam dunk you know before Jimmy Johnson and Johnson people can argue did it in the chase era so didn't maybe have all the issues maybe that it's harder in one sense and it, easier, easier in another one, right? yeah. <laughs> so you know you know what with, if you look at what Yarbrough did all his wins you know again how could you not uh, uh, leave him off was there, was there discussion in the room about how he sort of disappeared after his driving career after his ownership was, career was over and he wasn't an ambassador did there pe were there people who brought that up as a negative that was a negative last year for him and I think one of the things you know people tried to 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 erase that memory this year and I think one of the stories told in the room was about you know when Johnson won his third championship how kale um, went to New York and was a part of the the award ceremony and how much he enjoyed it and, and what it meant to him and I think even a, in a recently another trip to Darlington uh, where he took his grandsons and and was more public and and really kind of was telling them about how much what NASCAR meant and how much you know he really missed being a part of it so I think there's you know maybe the stories were that maybe his 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 kind of softened or being you know been a little bit more willing Showing a softer side well, of, it'll know. be very cool think if, if, spicy. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> but it'll be cool if the Hall of Fame induction actually brings Kale Yarbrough back to the NASCAR public to some extent and and brings him around more I, you know what I think is gonna be cool is Daryl Waltrip and Kale Yarbrough the induction ceremony. I can't wait to see how they, you know, take jabs <laughs> at each other because wasn't it what Yarbrough was the one that called Waltrip Jaws and gave him that nickname, yep. and the, so they're coming in together. Uh, I, I, that hey, it's going to be great. You know, actually. maybe they should sell some ringside tickets yeah, to the exactly. induction ceremony in January. That could be fun. All right, that's our look at Kale Yarbrough, part of the 2012 NASCAR Hall of Fame class. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Like